mind blown. That's all I can say. What an amazing time to be a VR enthusiast. Holy cow. So Pimax just announced their brand new headset that's slated to come out at the end of 2022, so about a year away. It's called the Pimax 12K QLED VR headset. And if they can deliver on what they're promising, this is going to be a whole new world for virtual reality. This will be the ultimate VR headset if they can pull it off. I mean, they're talking about uh, a 12K screen. They're talking about a hybrid lens that combines both the aspheric and the uh, Fresnel lens design and basically takes care of the problems of both and, and gives you the ultimate lens. They're talking about wireless and wireless at 8K. That's unbelievable. Um, they're talking about full body tracking. They're talking about facial tracking. I mean, you want to write your wish list of what you want in a VR headset. This is it. Now, what are my thoughts on that? Well, somebody once told me a long time ago, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So I'm a little skeptical. Now, I hope they can pull this off. If they can build this headset and make it do what they're saying they can make it do, amazing. Okay, I'm all in. What I'm worried about, you're talking about a 12K screen. What kind of video card are you going to use to drive it? A year from now, we may have the 4000 series cards, but even then, we can barely run our 4K um, screens now. You're talking 12K. Now, if they go with a foveated rendering solution, that's possible. Um, they do have the eye tracking and all that stuff. So foveated is possible. I'm excited they're using a QLED screen. I think QLED technology is a really good uh, idea for this. I think it, it does kind of give you the ability to get close to OLED, but still maintain all the positives of the LCD screens. So that I was happy to see that. But again, that resolution, you're going to have to do something pretty amazing to be able to have modern technology, even a year from now, be able to drive a screen like that. Um, I, I'm very excited. I hope that they can do this. Uh, I really, really do. But I'm also skeptical. Pimax has a little bit of a history of over-promising and under-delivering, let's say. So until I actually see this headset in the hands of some trusted reviewers and people behind the scenes uh, that, that aren't, you know, corporate marketing folks, I'm going to reserve my judgment. Um, so that's kind of where I stand on this. I do think um, there's something there, and I think even if they get close to it, um, the potential for having the wide field of view might fit a lot of people's uh, wish list if they don't want that clarity. To me, looking at the lenses and the lens design, if this is in fact the lens design, I don't see how you can get rid of the God rays and the glare if you have any of that Fresnel lens ridge design in there. I, I just, I can't, I don't believe that that's possible. I hope they prove me wrong. Um, so time will tell. Again, this is out uh, at the end of next year, so about a year from now. And I guess what it feels to me like, since it's so far on the horizon, it kind of feels to me like they've got their wish list of what they want. But... I don't know that they've actually, in practice, put this all together and got it to work the way that they want to. I don't know that for sure, but, but it seems like a year from now, there may be some, well, we couldn't quite pull that off or we, we couldn't quite get that to work. We'll see. So people ask me, are you going to cancel your Vario Aero headset? Hell no. I am so excited about that headset. Yeah, it might have a small field of view, but guess what? That headset has been in the hands of regular people, and it's blown them away. And we're talking about people that are very, very familiar with VR. They've tested all these headsets, and when they put this thing on, it blew them away. So, no, I'm going to go ahead and keep my arrow. Thank you very much. But, fingers crossed, if Pimax can pull this together, um, I just might have another headset in my arsenal come the end of 2022. But time will tell. So, thanks for this quick uh, view of my first impressions, and um, we'll see what happens. So until this headset gets released, remember to get your game on.